Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Today, we're discussing the film adaptation of Batman Hush. Batman Hush is widely considered one of the best Batman comics of all time. Not the best of all time, but one of the best. It depicts Catwoman and Batman and their relationship kind of blossoming in a new direction. It features Hush and a lot of other interesting different kind of things that we weren't really used to in batman comics it was very psychological it was a thriller it was kind of a little bit of horror if you want to go if you want to stretch it that far but it was really good it is widely regarded as the comic that saved batman it was the comic that got a lot of people into batman it featured pretty much every prominent uh villain of all time it featured the crocodile guy it featured catwoman harvey uh everybody literally everybody was here it was like the smash brothers ultimate of comic books and that led to it being widely successful both financially and you know critically so with that being said when the film came out about a month ago i was excited for it. i didn't watch it at first i was excited for it. i was gonna wait and see how it did see if it ended up on a streaming service well i recently got dc universe and it was on it as a streamable film so i watched it the very beginning of it was like oh my god bang 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 it was nothing but a banger for lack of a better word it was a straight comic book adaptation i loved it up until the point this will contain spoilers by the way up until the point where batman and superman kind of are like okay so they are messing with us we got to do what we got to do and then right around that time right around the time they entered the opera house this is when things start becoming really 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 bad like really bad like to the point that if I wasn't paying a subscription fee for it, I would have actually took it back and got my money for it. Because it was just, oh, it was so bad. From that point on, there was no, like, no recollection of the comics. There was no, like, the biggest thing that happened in the comics that was something I was looking forward to seeing was, let me scroll to it so I can find it and show you, was this scene. The cemetery scene that took place with the fight between uh, Catwoman, Robin, Nightwing, Batman, Hush, and everybody else with the ghost of Jason, the dead Batman, I mean the dead Robin coming back, making Batman all emotional, which we then found out was not actually that, it was Clayface, but that's not the point, it is, oh my god, that was like the best part of the comic, that was the best part of the comic, and Batman Hush didn't even have it at all, like there was Scarecrow, but Scarecrow didn't even really matter at all, in it like, at all, he like was like, oh, it's Nightwing. Let me throw this thing at you. And Nightwing was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Catwoman's a zombie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, it was so stupid. It was just absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand how it began so strong. Like, such a great adaptation. And then it just fell. It just fell. Like, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Like, a lot of times with these DC animated films, they are great but they lack comic-like variety. <coughs> Sorry about that. But it, it just lacks comic variety. It lacks the thing that makes it great. It lacks the thing that made the comic memorable, that made it good enough to get a film. And this was one of them. This was one of them. It was good up until the Opera House. And then once it gets to the Opera House, it's all downhill from there. Like, straight downhill to the point... That if you were to show me this and not tell me it was a Batman Hush adaptation and you started it at the Opera House, I would not have been able to tell you it was about Hush. And another thing they changed is Hush is supposed to not be who it was. Like in here, Hush was nobody important. It was the Riddler. Like what? And in here, it is not the Riddler. It is, I will show you. But like the Hush took many forms in this and you don't really see the Hush until the end this is one of the things i was talking about when batman fought what would have been robin had robin not died way back in like the 70s but fast forward fast forward and when hush is finally revealed that's right hush is my man dr thomas elliott dr thomas elliott <coughs> so and the film that's not who it is it's the riddler like okay i understand for when you make a film adaptation you have to change some things but why would you change the most important part of it why would you do that like why that makes no sense absolutely no sense why that would happen 
And like the whole point of Batman Hush was to be a psychological thriller. And the film adaptation was more of like a psychological, can you stay awake during the like last half of the film type thriller, not an actual psychological thriller. The biggest thrill ride was just trying to stay awake after that uh, opera scene. So it was really, really not worth watching, to be honest. It is definitely not Batman Beyond. It is definitely not Justice League. It is definitely not any of the other Batmans. If you want to get the story of Hush, just read the comic, forego the film, pretend it does not exist because I'm never watching it again and you don't really need to watch it ever. Just pretend it never happened. That's what I'm going to do so I don't get upset about it. And with that being said, I overall, I give Batman Hush, it was really well written. It was really well voice acted, really well animated. So I will give it points for that, but the story was terrible. The way they changed it was god awful. So for that, I give it a solid, I'm going to say 6 out of 10. Couldn't you watch it? Yes. Should you? No. But with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Try not to die and I'll see you in the next video.